Hello everybody, Reggie Time here, back with another 25NL fast forward video, but this one's going to be with a difference. I'm going to record the entire session, talk it to like I can make a normal video, but then I'm going to boil it down to just like a clip video, if you will, like like some of the cool kids do who stream on Twitch, then edit their Twitch content down into like clips and make like a, a, a long video of it. Um, this is a first for me, it's going to take me more time and effort than I'm really willing to put in for 150 viewers. So if you're a regular viewer and you typically watch my content and don't hit like, if you don't hit like on this one, I hope you get a really uncomfortable boil on your ass that is really uncomfortable when you sit down. But if you do click like, I wish you nothing but joy and happiness. So yeah, let's get into it, see how it goes. God knows how long my session's gonna have to be for me to get some content from it. But um, yeah, let's go, let's see what happens. Doesn't feel like we missed too much value there. Popped ourselves another top pair. Um, our opponent just goes all in. Uh, yeah, a call mate. He's got a full straw. Show me the money. Show me the cash out. I don't care that you're vigging me 1%. I've since found out they are vigging 1% on this site. Uh, yay! Go cash out! We made some money on the cash out. They are vegan one percent. I don't give a fuck. Have my one percent. Keeps me happy. Keeps me chilled. Um, yeah, whatever. Don't give a fuck. If you don't like it, bite me. King turn off suit. Firing an open from the cutoff. Landsack calls in the big blind. We totally whiffed the flop, but um, I never sure what to do here. I think theoretically this is meant to be a fold over here with the deuces. Um, so that's what we're going to do, but I really feel like set manning up. Back to the King 10. I'm just going to, like, pretty disconnected board. Not a lot out there, really, in terms of, like, you know, draws our opponent can have. We don't need to bet too big to try and get him to fold the stuff and trying to get him to fold. But we do I want a triple here. Like, he can float the flop with, like, Ace-4, Ace-3, um, flush draw, maybe some backdoor flush draws. Do we have a handy that wants to triple? I mean, I, we're going to try. We're going to try. I mean, it's not going to work against a jack, but triple should work against most everything else. Um, do I think he calls ace-3 and ace-4 on the turn versus 75%? Maybe. Ace-I flush draws two. I guess he can have. Um, but we're going to find one more. You know, I think we can put lots of pressure on his jack X now. Could be a bit of a punt, but we're going to fire one more. I'm trying to fold out everything except his ace X now. And better. Jack X trying to make fold. Ace King of Hearts? You okay, sir? You okay, sir? And why is King of Hearts? You okay, sir? You okay, sir? And why did it take you so long? What the actual fuck was that nit roll? Uh, three bet the ace queen off on table two. Get four bet really small. Uh, opening the king seven suited as well. Uh, right, what do we do versus these really small four bets? With ace, queen, off. I mean, I kind of just want to fold now, to be honest with you. I mean, three bet with the king, seven suited. So we're out there with that. But it's such a small bet. Guess call, but really not loving the situation. Four bets are just so fucking rare in these games. And just usually remarkably nutted. He bets 10% pot. Um, we have a nut shot, so we're going nowhere. Jack? No, no Jack. No, Jack. Uh, wow. People are three betting and four betting in their droves this morning. It is five past nine in the morning. I suppose I'm not entitled to expect to see the games 
be two sort of think we're probably three bet in these nines on the button here uh, I mean I guess we have a rolling situation oh I've rolled a very very easy three bet uh, ace queenie ten percent and then check I mean has he got jacks I think we're going to bluff and I think we're going to shove the river um, Oh, he just folds. Happy days. Beautiful. Uh, these nines. I'm going to bet a bit bigger here because our hand is quite vulnerable. It's a head. It needs. It doesn't want to just bet really small. Um, bit worried we might get check raised here, but don't want to just small bet. Our opponent check calls and then checks again on the 10. I don't think our hand warrants another a second bet here. Um, I think we're just going to check back and then if he leads rivers, probably call unless it's like an egregiously bad one. Deuce seems like a very safe card. If he bets, I guess we just sigh and call. I mean, you can still have like pocket jacks, pocket queens here, I guess. We don't bet really big. Imagine if a bet's really big, does that just mean that he's going to have more draws? That's missed, but what draws does he really have that's called a three bet? Murder really position. He's bet small enough where we can just call him, but it's a bit worrying now because does he bet pocket eights? Maybe. And I guess we need him to. I think we're going to lose a lot here, but I think we have to fall. Do we have to call? Oh, he didn't have pocket eights. Fucking hell, Reg. You might just be the fucking best. Jesus, that felt fucking good. Who on Reg? Who on Reggie? You fucking genius. King, queen. Murder position. He's bet small enough where we can just call him, but it's a bit worrying now because... Does he bet pocket eight? Maybe. And I guess we need him to. I think we're going to lose a lot here, but I think we have to fall. Do we have to call? Oh, he didn't have pocket eights. Fucking hell, Reg. You might just be the fucking best. Jesus, that felt fucking good. Off. Why are these hands are coming thick and fast? Don't want to squeeze versus that stack size. Don't want to call up the small blind. So we just let it go. We just let it go. in the nines cut off we'll be defending versus three bets should any come in none come in but we get the three do six board and again i think we're just going to bet larger than usual here we have a player who's tagged green we have a board that is makes our hand quite vulnerable so we're actually going to go with a large bet versus a recreational player turns an eight of spades we don't hate that i mean some flushes get there but we do have the nine of spades uh, i think it's Getting check raised on this turn would really stink. Uh, so we're going to check back and then probably call a lot of rivers. The jack feels like a brick. So I'm probably going to call on this. Uh, we lose here to some flushes, some two pairs, etc. Um, don't expect to win a huge amount of time. But given the line we take, and I think we just have a call here and whatever. He had a six. That's a very thin river bet. I wonder what he's doing there. Is he trying to achieve value? Is he trying to bluff? Know what's going on there uh, anyway we move on and we three bet the ace queen and we three bet the ace king too are we going to get any action it's been a pretty dry session so far in terms of action 20 minutes into it there hasn't been a lot going on and there still is not a lot going on eight seven suited on the button uh, this is recreational with the recreational and the big blind. I mean, this isn't a thing. This might flatten this this on the button. But there are two recreationals in the pot. Bogdan's been very boring all morning and hasn't done anything remotely interesting. It looks like we are going to get squeezed here, though, given he hasn't snap folded. So maybe we probably are not going to have a continue versus the Bogdan 3 bet. However, this is too small, this squeeze size, I think. We might be about to get ourselves in trouble. 
Bogdan went deep in the tank there and then come out with a 10 big blind. I mean, this size, just in my opinion, isn't really a thing. We're also defending the King 8 suit into the min 3 bet. Completely missing. Oh, we flopped a flush draw. Oh, dear. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Bogdan checks. That is a big relief. Um, do we right, do we want to bet here? And if we do want to bet, are we willing to get it in? Uh, we'd, I would like to bet, but I'm not willing to get it in. And, um, yeah, and check raise would stink. So we're going to check back. We turn a flush. Why didn't we bet? Why didn't we bet? Check, check. I mean, no one's got anything. It's all very disappointing. I don't want to bet too small or just like let like a, a king of hearts or something just like realise relatively cheaply. So we're just going to bet more like this size and just hope to put a call and then hope for, for the six of clubs on the river. Ah, boring. Opening the S9 suited, holding the 10 fat off. Pocket sevens is opening. S9 suited again. This bet's too small. I think we just have to defend the S9 suited versus this size out of the small blind. Flop an open ender. Not a happy open ender. Not by a long stretch. Not by a long stretch. I mean, this guy just doesn't seem at this board, which is baffling to me. Um, I'd have been more happy calling if we'd bet like four bigs. Queen six suited is going to be a call. Flop out that second pair. I'm just going to check back. Turn an ace. Uh, not happy with any of this. Not happy with any of this. We're just going to try and show our hand down. I don't think we see value. Well, are right. Okay, straight right out on the board. Don't bet, mate. Don't bet. I mean, what a prick. And now we just have to call, and we both just pay rake. What an absolute fucking bell end. How do we throw rockets at this cunt? Don't time out. I mean, what a knob. Just fuck off, you absolute fucking knobhead. Don't see bet your fucking hand. Then you go check check and overbet on that board. Just just fuck off, mate, you cunt. You fucking tit. Uh, anyway, on to the tens. Against a almost certain recreational player, there's going to be no four bet in here because I think they're just going to three bet. Um, pretty much good hands only. Uh, and I think this is going to be it. It's going to be the end of the story for the tens. It's certainly the end of the story for the eights, multi way. Aces. Oh, that's a big old bet. Um, aces. Three bets. Folds. Oh, well, back to everyone folding, I guess. So we have a pair, we have a backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw, Connie Cohn's bet quite big. We're going to call, uh, we're going to 3-bet these pocket jacks to 13 bigs to account for the limp as well as the open. We get the limp cold call from Ulalolo, whatever the fucking hell that name is. Ula Ogkin Poker. Nobody with the... Queen 10, we're just going to try and show down. We've got two calls here. Um, I think we're just going to check raise all in. That's like the best chance we've got here. I don't want to bet and then someone call. I don't even know what size to see bet multi way to be honest with you. Um, so we went for the check raise all and didn't work. Now I guess we just bet something like that. Really, really hope we don't get raised. No idea what I'm doing in this spot. Multi way three bet pots. Flops check through. Uh, I haven't got a fucking clue. Don't race. Don't race fast to fuss. Good man. Thank fuck for that. Because I had no clue what I was doing there. Once the, ch once the flop check race plan was scuppered, um, I was lost. I was very lost. Ace Jack. What the actual fuck? Oh, no, it's fine. Whatever. 
Um, whoa, let's watch this one out. Arias Jack's dead, obviously. Aces and Queens. Who would have thought Aces and Queens were going to be the two hands in that situation? In fast fold poker. Who knew Rangers were so snug? Who knew? Um, three bet in the King Queen suited. And get any through. Oh, Ace Queen off suit. We're on a roll. We're on a little pre flop heater. Uh, squeezing to 13 big blinds. His pass to fuss was in the hand earlier, didn't fall to our three, but when we had jack, I squeezed when we had jacks. I wonder what we do if he back raises here. Do we do, I guess we just fold. I guess we just fold. I'd probably roll for like jams and shit. Uh, nine jack four. Um, I mean, I guess we just bet 25%. Probably isn't going to work, but don't want to check. Turn an open ender. Oh, now what? Because like, you can have lots of stuff on this board. If you can have all sets, King Queen is blocked by us a little bit. Um, you can have like some Jack 10 suited, I guess. Two combos of that. I haven't got the heart to bet again. Just gonna check. Eight nine suited were rolling for an open. Didn't hit it. I think we just check folding here. Except versus like 13 big, something like that. 12.8 bigs, fucking hell. I wasn't far off there. I'm gonna guess we have to call here, but it's a very unhappy call. King of diamonds, please. Alright, okay, we just check fold now. Just check folding now, I guess. Pretty unhappy, pretty sad turn of events. Uh, yeah, just check fold, Ridge. Maybe we win. Maybe we win. Oh, we do win. Happy days. Uh, Going to roll for a four bet here. Didn't hit it. So we just call in. And now we're check folding. Ace, queen suited. Why are we getting a lot of hands in a row here? Uh, Ace, queen suited. Going to open. We instantly get three bet by Connie Cohn. Um We don't want a four bet here. We have to get it in versus someone who thinks recreational. So I'm just going to call. Not even rolling. I guess this would be a four bet sometimes, but... I'm not going to do it on this occasion. King Queen off just going to be a flower. The big blank. Connie Corn acts very quickly. Clearly doing a lot of predetermined things. Um, two overs. Back door flush draw. Peeling one. Just giving up this turn, I guess. Uh, Jack 8 7 here. Yeah, you're acting too quick. Everything's predetermined. Um, fold and fold. Pocket is he's in the big blind. Rafael Santana open to a minimum. Been a three bet to eleven. That's opening the ace jack suited from middle position. Get a super dry flop. I'm gonna actually go for a check raise here. I should probably see about this at quite a high frequency, but we're actually gonna try and check raise. Nothing to really protect against at this point, like with a with a flop C bet. Um, ace Jack Diamond on this board, just not going to want to see but it's a recreational player. Here we're going to check race to like, what, 20 big blinds, 19 big blinds, something like that. Continuing giving up with the Ace Jack. We get called. Um, he could have sets, no two pairs out there. Um, if we're beat, we're beat. We just have to go broke at this point. Uh, what size do we want to bet here to leave like half pot for the river, just under half pot? This is going to be too big. And we get the fold on the turn. King Jack suited, absolutely delighted to open. Mother C Russia, Mother Crusher, quite like that. Um, don't like being three bet. It's very small though, so we're going to take a flop. Flop ass has a good shot. That was exciting for a minute, wasn't it? That King 7 should have been an open range, you dickhead. Um, yeah, okay, mate. Check that board, do you? 
open for you. Um, kings. Give me your three bit, of course. Just giving up here with the. I mean, he, he, he looks like he could have a hand like jacks here quite a lot, or kings, but we blocked that pretty hard. See, so I'm worried that he's just trapping the shit out of us, and um, I don't think I want to bluff. Um, I'm going to check raise this 3.9 board. And get every deck with jacks. Ace King off is going to be an open. Come on, implicit. How do you not see bet there? I did not sorry bet versus my miss bet. Um, so now we're just going to start betting on the bigger side. Some draws have been created. Would really, really strongly dislike getting raised here. Strongly dislike it. I mean, would not be a fan of that course of action from implicit G. To the point where I think I might even fold if he raises. What does value be? Seven on the river. Oh, this is messy now. This is messy. Oh, dear me. We just have a pet fold, don't we? Do we? Oh, don't know. I'm going to check. We'll probably call. This is a weak line. This is a weak line. Not happy with myself there. Didn't know what to do. And upon an ace queen. Okay. Didn't know what to do there. Um, <clears throat> um, we're going to raise. Ace eight suited. I think we're going to three bet this. Not be happy about it. About against a green tag. Flop ourselves a flush draw. I think we want to like C bet this, but not all the time. We're going to roll. We've rolled a C bet. Please don't raise, 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 please don't raise. Oh dear. Now we're going to roll between call and jam. We've rolled a jam. This could get messy because this guy isn't raising to fold, I don't think. Okay, here's one for the punters out there. Oh, he did fold. Fucking go on. Go on, you big RNG. Good boy, RNG. Good boy. Good boy, good boy, RNG. Two jacks under the gun, uh, middle position, sorry. Going with the open, get called by a recreational player on the button. Called by a recreational player in the small blind. This could get interesting. And we get small squeezed. I mean, what the actual fuck is all this about? Uh, I mean, I guess we just fall back and don't fold. This is quite scary, but whatever. I mean, I guess we just got to call it off. I mean, this, who knows what this means. I mean, it's whatever it is, it's recreational play doing it because this is just not a thing, of course. But I don't know if this is good or not. I don't know if we just, if we're, if we're allowed to just form it, get it in him. Now he's gone all in. We just have to hope it's the ace king. Ace queen, cash it. Cash me out, baby. No idea what that's all about with his ace queen there. No fucking clue. Go on. Cash out paying dividends again. Hey, haters. The cash out dividends coming again. We're paying that 1% premium, but by fuck. When it pays out, it doesn't have make you feel good. So, there we go. That's the end of the video. I think it turned out to be a marginally profitable session. I think we maybe won like $15 or something like that. I had to be certain. Um, until we input the hands into holder manager but it was a good session i enjoyed it it was a little bit dull red pretty reggy but i guess when you start a session at five past nine in the morning in uk time you're unlikely to find good games but i am interested to see how well this video does uh for like for the for the new format to format i've never tried before 
hopefully it, it is well received if you've reached this part of the video and you haven't hit the like button yet what are you doing you cunt fucking get that like button hit leave a comment as well for your laziness because you were lazy and haven't hit the like button yet leave a comment and if you have reached this part of the video leave a comment on what you think of the format compared to the usual stuff i actually think this is maybe a nice like it's it's like the hand review videos which i enjoy doing but don't do very well it's kind of a bit like that in terms of like it's going to be a shorter video with like just more interesting spots but hopefully in a more like viewer friendly format where and also where you're capturing my thoughts in the moment rather than some like pretty boring shit rig analysis after the event so let me know what you think i'm probably going to make another one of these tomorrow morning it's wednesday morning now thursday is typically my easiest day of the week i have the house to myself i don't do any work tomorrow because i'm on annual leave so i've got lots of time to play poker tomorrow so maybe i'll make two videos and leave one of them for next week because it's, it's going to be hard for me to make videos next week because uh, it's half term and i'll be working hard with quinn so yeah give me some feedback on this format i very much appreciate it but we'll leave it there for now take care everybody have a lovely day stay safe etc etc and